Hello and welcome back to my channel. This week one of our viewers posted an interesting topic that he wants to discuss this week's video and that is reading literacy in the healthcare field. This is an important topic to, to understand as a healthcare professional because it impacts every part of the patient's care because if they don't understand why they're doing something, why they're taking a pill, while why they're doing this exercise why they're doing anything they're not going to adhere to it the best way they can they're not going to benefit 100 percent they'll get like 70 percent or lower it um gains for it because they don't know why they're doing it and there has been recent studies that's been published that a lot of patients that are coming into us to see us they don't know how how they how to fill out the forms they don't know why they're filling out the forms and this is really important for us to understand this because we need to pick these individuals out of a whole group of people and we need to assist them we need to help them understand we need to do all that we can to get them to fully understand why they're doing something why they're taking a pill why they're doing an exercise because if they don't they might not take it, they might not do that exercise, and if they don't do that, it could be detrimental to their pathology that they're having going on right now. And a lot of the time, these patients will just fall through the cracks and they, 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 they will get a procedure done and they don't know why they had it or they're mortified when they wake up from it to um, hear that that's what happened. Like we had, a, we had a person on one of the videos that was published in our comment section and she had some abdominal pain and she went in, she signed some paperwork, didn't know how to read, didn't know, comprehend what she was signing. And after the surgery, she it turns out she had a hysterectomy and she was mortified that that happened because she didn't know that's what she was signing up for. She was late 20s or early 30s, something like that. And she was very, very mortified that that happened. We had one of our viewers um, submit what they do in the clinic whenever they are trying to educate a patient on some exercises that they send them home with. And one of the things that they do is they will print out a sheet of paper with people performing the exercise is what it looks like at the start, what it looks like in the middle, and what it looks like at the end. And then it has bullet points of what to look for. And I found this very interesting because usually in the past what I've done is I've just written it, written it down because we do that exercise in the clinic and I don't think anything of it because I'm there. I see that they're doing it. I don't know if they're doing it um, incorrectly when I'm not watching if I'm assisting another patient but whenever I'm watching they're doing it but this was th this stood out to me that um that I found interesting and relevant because it's something that's lacking in my care and so I, I'm I have started implementing it once when that did come up and so one thing that I've noticed while practicing is that patients really don't understand what you're saying to the extent you think they do. And it come it came out um, whenever I'm in evaluations and I get done and I just ask the broad question, do you have any questions? This is an open-ended question and I like open-ended questions because you're not putting the answer in their mouth. And if they say no, but I know it was kind of like complicated eval, then I will start asking specific questions on what we did in the eval like do you have any questions as to why your knee hurts in the place it does i might get a yes i might get a no if i get a no i'll be like do you understand why whenever you bend your knee it hurts so it, i start making it broad and then go into specific and then i have found that that's really um helpful for the patients because you are asking the question for them but they might not think of that question or they might not understand what you've explained to them that well to be able to ask that question so 